begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, find a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Make any adjustments you need to feel comfortable in your body and settle into that posture. And as you find that position that feels comfortable, really enjoy it. Delight in the pleasure that comes with a comfortable body. Of course, there may be minor pains and discomforts. See if you can enjoy any comfort that is available in this position you've selected. Having established yourself here, Look in your body and see if there's any muscular tension that's present for you right now. Perhaps in the jaws, the shoulders, the arms, the legs. If any of your muscles have tension or tightness, see if you can gently invite them to relax, to loosen up. Relax your body. Again, see if you can enjoy this flavor of relaxation, if you can delight in it, even if it's small. Relax and enjoy. And having established your body in a comfortable, relaxed position, if you'd like, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Doesn't have to hurt. Just a gentle, easy smile. See if you can maintain that smile for the entire practice period. Allowing your physical muscles to gently nudge you towards emotional happiness.
If at any time you become uncomfortable, you can adjust your posture. If your muscles tighten up, you can relax yet again. If your smile fades, you can gently return the smile to your face. Enjoy smiling for another moment. and continuing to maintain these qualities in your body. Turn your mind towards things that you can feel grateful for. Consider and reflect on any aspect of your life that can bring up a sense of gratitude. Anything at all, whether it's big or small, very normal or somewhat extraordinary for you. Reflect on things that you can feel grateful for. Maybe it's time that you got to spend with a friend. Or a beautiful sunrise that you saw today. Something simple like having water to drink or food to eat. You get to decide. Turn your mind towards the things that you can feel grateful for. If you'd like, you can reflect on just one thing or review many different things. Whatever feels good to you. Continue to reflect on gratitude for another moment. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Could be a pet or a small child, a 
friend or family member. Could even be someone imaginary. Any person or animal, real or imaginary, it's easy for you to feel love for. Bring this person to mind. Visualizing them in your mind's eye. Seeing what they look like when they're happy or smiling or laughing, proud of themselves, satisfied. Anything you like, really. Whatever would make you feel happy when you think about them. And cultivate the intention that this person would be happy. In whatever way you like, whatever feels good to you. Perhaps visualizing them in your mind's eye, being happy. Or speaking certain phrases to them in your mind. May this person be so happy. Any phrase that you like, really. Practice cultivating the intention that this easy to love person or animal would be happy. If there's any felt sense of happiness or love or care in your body that arises as you reflect on this person and your love for them, notice that, feel it, and really enjoy it. As if you were sinking into a bubble bath after a long week allowing yourself to enjoy the warmth and comfort that comes with those feelings. Really enjoy this love and happiness that comes from wishing someone else well. Those feelings may or may not be available to you at this time, but if they are, really enjoy them. In any case, continue to cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal.
Very good. Now, we're going to practice the skill of encouraging others. Pick someone in your life that might be facing something difficult. It could be something big or small, something new, some kind of challenge. It could even be an imaginary challenge. Consider someone in your life and imagine them being in some kind of difficult scenario. Maybe they're starting a new job or learning a new skill. Going through some kind of difficult period. The specifics don't matter so much. The main thing is to practice the skill of encouraging others. So pick someone in your life and a scenario that they might be in, real or imaginary. So for me, I'll imagine a friend that might be starting a new job. And they're a little nervous, a little intimidated. How will it go? Will it be too hard? What challenges will they face? Clearly select someone in your mind, as well as the situation that they might be in. Visualize yourself with them in this situation. And imagine encouraging them. Imagine the words that you might say to encourage them. Oh man, friend, I know this is hard but I believe in you, you can do this, you got this. Just take it one step at a time, face each challenge as they come and you'll make it through this. Of course, you can use any phrases that you like, ones that resonate with you and fit the specifics of the situation. In any case, use mental talk, phrases in your mind, to practice the skill of encouraging others. Really imagine, what would you say to this person to encourage them? What kind of words would bolster them and help them face this challenge? All of us face difficult situations. All of us need encouragement from time to time. So this is our chance to practice the skill of encouraging others.
Are you sure that you can hear phrases in your mind? Different words of encouragement that you might say to your friend in this situation? If it's challenging to maintain a stream of different phrases, you can always simply repeat one phrase over and over again. A phrase like, you've got this, or you can do it, or whatever phrase resonates with you. In any case, continue to practice encouraging others. If you'd like, you can stay with the same situation, with the same friend and the same challenge. Or you can imagine a different situation with a different person. You can imagine as many different situations as you like. Just continue to practice the skill of encouraging others. Again, if there's any enjoyment that comes from doing this technique, a sense of love and care for the person that you're encouraging, if you can feel that in your body, notice it and really enjoy it.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new or face any challenges? Take a moment to reflect so you can learn from your experience. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the practice.